Girls don't just need to get to school, they need good schools, and they need to stay. Because every extra year of school can earn her 10% more income as an adult. Because women operate the majority of farms and small businesses in the developing world. If India enrolled 1% more of its girls in secondary school, its GDP could rise by billions. Educated girls are a powerful force for change. And this kind of change, it happens fast. You're probably wondering, is that an ad for some charity? But I actually have a normal life for a teenage girl. I get up, I brush my teeth, I listen to Rihanna, I pick my outfits, I text. Welcome to my world. This is Freetown, Sierra Leone. This is my mom, Salamatu, and this was my dad. My dad died when I was really little. I like to think he still watches over me. This is my dad's younger brother. He had to marry my mom because she was his brother's widow. She could have said no, or she could have become a praying wife, which is sort of like being a wife without the fun. But then my uncle was really quite handsome, so he became my stepdad. A few years later, Papa married Hala. Now that was a love match from the start. I guess you could call us a perfect family. And it's true. Isn't my school cool? I'm the first person in my family to go to school. Everyone says I'm the lucky one. This is our physics teacher, Mr. Ellie. He told us about Isaac Newton, the biggest problem solver of all time. Lots of people think science is boring, but I don't. Science is about asking questions and solving problems, just like Isaac Newton. The most exciting change in my life was when I got my first real job. I was so happy when I landed a spot as a host at Eagle Africa 91.3. These days, radio is the biggest thing in Sierra Leone. Almost everyone listens to it. On the radio show, I'm able to talk to lots of girls all over the country and help them. Every week we discuss a problem. I don't mean a physics problem, I mean real stuff. One time, a girl named Usatu called in. She lived with her aunt, who used her to run errands instead of letting her go to school. Even worse, her aunt's boyfriend had a really bad wandering hand problem. Poor Asatu didn't know what to do, so she called the show. I thought about what I would do. I told her to tell her mom everything, to not be afraid. She wasn't doing anything wrong and that she should be going to school. A few weeks later, she called to say she was back at home living with her mom and going to school. She said I helped her solve her problem. When I'm older, my plan is to have my own TV show, solving the greatest mysteries in the world. Welcome to Dr. Mariama's Miracle Mystery Show, in which I, Mariama, find solutions to the planet's most vexing problems. Filmed here in Freetown in front of a live studio audience. My big dream is to go to outer space, to be the first African in space. But the truth is, I've never been on an airplane. Actually, I've never even been to another country. But I'm not afraid to dream big. While I was busy dreaming, Papa was having some problems of his own. He was being criticized by other people in my town about me hosting a radio show and staying out at night with my friends from the radio station. 
One night when I was out, he found out where I was and stormed in. I've never seen him so angry. Papa refused to let me host the show. I tried to talk my way out of it, which is something I can almost always do, but he didn't want to listen. That night, I didn't sleep. I told you my parents never went to school, right? Well, what I didn't tell you was what Hawa told me. That people in those days thought kids who went to school lost respect for their parents. I worried that maybe my father thought I had lost respect for him by having a job at the radio station. For the first time, I had a problem I couldn't solve. I thought, what would Isaac Newton do? For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Newton's third law. I needed to find a force equal to my father. Someone my father would listen to. Maybe Hawa could be my force. So I borrowed a radio and turned it to Eagle 91.3. I hated to hear the show going on without me. Hawa really listened. She liked what she heard. She told Papa that he might have made a mistake. He agreed to hear me out. I told them all the good things the radio show was doing, like the way I was able to help Usatu go back to her mother. By being on the radio, I could help even more girls like her. Hawa said I should have another chance. Finally, Papa agreed to let me carry on with the show, only if I promised to come straight home afterwards and always let him or my moms know where I was. I was back on the air. Now everything is cool again. So you out there, watch this space because one day you're gonna see Dr. Mariyama's Miracle Mystery Show. Now there's nothing to stop me. Nothing in the world. Nothing in the universe. Because I am the lucky one. Because I am the lucky one. <laughs>